Back now at 8.13. This morning on Today's Health, something better than Botox. In just a few months, the FDA is expected to approve the first competitor to Botox. It is called Reloxin, and it promises to add a new wrinkle to the beauty rattle. Here's NBC's Michelle Kaczynski. Why don't you frown for me? Good. Now In the relax. relentless battle against the wrinkle. Okay, relax. Comes a new weapon for those trenches. Could this top secret little bottle hold something even better than Botox? It's time that we have something that lasts a little bit longer. And I'm hoping that the minute the FDA approves this, I'll be able to use it in my practice. Dr. Leslie Bauman says Reloxin is better. She led the clinical trials on hundreds of patients and says it kicks in faster, about two days versus seven with Botox, and lasts longer, about five months. The doctor was very surprised, actually. She's like, wow. Clinical trials are paid for by drug companies, but Bauman also did the trials for Botox, and the Reloxin doctors say their conclusions are backed up by data audited by the FDA. So I'm, I'm ready for more. <laughs> Sharon Jo Knackman volunteered her face for the clinical trial. She said she could see the difference between her results and those of her friends who used Botox. My treatment lasted a lot longer. And doctors expect Reloxin to cost less. It's made from the same substance as Botox and has been used for years in Europe and South America under the name Dysport. For three years, University of Miami researchers kept this stuff under lock and key during their trials. They can't even show us what the label looks like. But the FDA will decide what kind of claims the company can actually make and whether Reloxin can say that it lasts longer or acts faster than its number one rival, Botox. Competition makes things better. Something many patients have been waiting for, too, since the price of Botox has been going up. Last year, sales were more than a billion dollars. Allergan, the maker of Botox, says they're well-suited to compete with Reloxin in the United States, as we've done so for the last 18 years in other markets. Adding a little warning, physicians should not assume that they can use another product such as Reloxin and get the same precise and predictable results with the same safety profile as they do with Botox. Well, American housewives should be able to make that decision for themselves very, very soon. But until the FDA approves it, under padlock in this lab, it will stay. For today, Michelle Kosinski, NBC News, Miami. Dr. Nancy Siderman is NBC's chief medical editor. Dr. Nancy Siderman, good morning. Hello, Here Anne. we go again. Here now, go this again. is still a neurotoxin like Botox, it is, right? It is the botulinum toxin. It's okay. just sort of the new, it's a new take on it. It's, it. It is the first kid on the block to give Botox a real competition. So in terms of difference, we just heard from Michelle Kaczynski that it, you know, that it basically might last longer. Right. Are these claims proven? Well, here's what our expert we spoke to last night said. It will start earlier. So instead of waiting three to five days, as women do for Botox to set in, this starts one to three days. I think there's still some controversy as to how long it will last. Some people say it lasts about three months and then you have to go back to the doctor. Other people say that once you start using it regularly, you may get up to six months. So if relaxing really lasts longer than Botox, that I have to wait to see. But no doubt, it starts acting sooner. But what about one of the big knocks uh, on, on Botox? Yeah. That it actually freezes your expression. I mean, it, does, does it, do we have any evidence so far that, that, that that's not true of the locks? Well, the, look, they work the same way. They paralyze okay. the muscle. Mm. So if you don't like those lines up there and you want to make sure that they don't turn into long-term wrinkles, then that's where you get it. Some people get it for crow's feet. We've used it for medicinal purposes, for voice box problems in the past. It all works the same way. But the most important thing to remember is it's temporary. It will wear off. It doesn't paralyze anything forever. And boy, is this stuff safe. It really has been run through the ringer. I, it's been around for 25 years. It's just that some of us weren't smart enough to see how, for how big a deal it was going to be for cosmetic <laughs> stuff because we've been using it for mainstream medicine for almost three decades okay, now. Okay, but will it be cheaper? Do we have any idea? Uh, any now, yeah. that's it. I think you're going to see a marketing battle. Mm. I think this is going to come in cheaper. They're going to try to sort of swamp doctors' offices. And right now, Botox costs... Three hundred fifty to five hundred dollars. Watch for a price war. I bet that's what. So this is terrific. See. This is good news. Oh, I think it's good competition. Okay, well, Absolutely. Good news. It's some good news it's, this morning. It's going to be a price Nancy war Snyderman. for the women who want this stuff. All right. Okay. Thank you so <laughs> you much, Nancy.